Hey there, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. And uh, today's bad boy we have here is from Dragon Wings. It's a Warbird series in 170 second scale diecast. So this is the FW190A4. Yellow 5, obviously. Um, you know, the old butcher bird. So, so this was a uh, German fighter during World War II, along with the MA109, um, made the backbone of the Luftwaffe fighter arsenal. Uh, designed by Kurt Tank, it was uh, introduced into frontline service in 1941 and immediately uh, proved a formidable fighter in uh, experienced hands. So it's got a, like a nice little flap. I bought this second hand for, um, it owes me around $30, $30, and that was including getting it to me. I bought this with a little uh, ME109 that I think I've done the review on prior. Um, so over 20,000 of these were built in normal experience. And with even 65 being built after World War II, uh, serving in the French Air Force, but they were retired in 1949, so, so there you have it. Uh, as I said, this was second hand, so it does come with a little stand, little instructions for the um, accessories. Just straightforward sort of little deal. And uh, we'll get this little, uh, little section open. Sorry about that little bit of noise. And there's the little butcher bird in there. So a fuel tank, um, the propeller obviously, and landing gear to put on. And we'll get this little little butcher bird out and have a have a good look. And uh, look, the detail detail is really nice actually, as you'd sort of expect from Dragon. Um, the actual rudder does does manipulate a little bit, and so do the rear tail. Um, the flaps go up and down as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, the uh, canopy goes back and forth. What we'll do is we'll see if we can get that little um, propeller out and at least chuck that on to make the aircraft look a little bit full. And that spins nice and freely. But um, we'll just flip it over on its back. And you can see that's got some really nice detail in there. Um, yeah, this, this is, you know, by a lot of the Luftwaffe pilots regarded this as one of the best fighters in, during World War II. And, I mean, it was a radial engine, which gave it that sort of uh, pug nose. But, I mean, it was, uh, you know, this aircraft did make a lot of aces, <laughs> especially on the Eastern Front where the um, combat was um, uh, during the low altitudes where this... Uh, where it suited the old uh, Focke Wolf 190, it tended to fare a lot better with um, lower altitude combat, whereas the 109 did fare a lot better at higher altitude interceptions and stuff like that. So these did do a lot of ground attack work as well, and uh, as well as uh, you know shooting down enemy aircraft at lower altitudes. And as I said, at the Eastern Front, they they did pr pr prove to be very very uh, efficient machines. Um, because a lot of that fighting over the Eastern Front was at lower altitude combat compared to the uh, Western Theatre. But, um, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll chuck some uh, landing gear on this quickly. So The canopy does come off too, so if you want to put in a little pilot figure, but I'll flip it over. What we'll do is we'll chuck this uh, little uh, tail wheel in. Oh, maybe you should put that in the right way, son. <laughs> That's that's in nice and easy. I'll chuck this uh, landing gear in. And that's that's wheels down. I think the detail in this is very good. Um, I think it's you know a very neat rendition of this aircraft. So we'll just flip it back over. Uh, Put that canopy on nice, and uh, yeah, I reckon it's a you know, excellent, excellent rendition. Yeah, definitely a pretty tough unit. We'll zoom in a little bit for you and show you that. And uh, as I did say, it does come with the uh, set of instructions, which shows you how to put everything, and also the stand. This once once again, this is the uh, Focke Wolf 190 A4, a yellow five from the Eastern Front in 1943 from JG 51. In one seventy second scale by uh, Dragon Wings in the Warbird series, so yeah, if you can give us a little bit of a, a, a bit of a thumbs up if you can spare it, and even subscribe to the channel, that'll be awesome. And I'll take some uh, pictures without these sausage fingers in the way, as per usual, at the conclusion of this video. So, alright, guys, thank you very much for watching, and you have a great rest of your day. Cheers.